Let's talk about whether or not the Pac-12 commissioner lied about something. This is interesting, right? The Athletic ran this about a week ago, and nobody talked about it at all. It says, well, here, let, let's just go on and pull it up. George Klyovkov, like, what are you doing here? The Athletic had an article out by Christian Capel on December 30th. So, of course, it gets lost in all of the New Year's muck. But it says, Pac-12 commissioner interested in possible Big 12 partnership before college football expansion view. Hold up just a second. Didn't, didn't we see him come out and just flat out say, that oh that's not how it went uh, the we we turned the Big Twelve down we told them that our media rights would it was it was going to be impossible okay well let's see what happened here it appears that they got FOIA requests so that's good. It says, before the Big 12 and the Big 12 engaged in a public feud regarding the most recent round of college football expansion and whether it might include one conference poaching teams from the other, Pac-12 Commissioner George Klyovkov was intrigued by the person or excuse me, by the possibility of partnering with the Big 12, according to an email obtained via public records request by The Athletic. It says, here's what you need to know. It says, the June 30th decision by USC and UCLA to leave the Pac-12 for the Big 10 sent the Pac-12 scrambling to secure its future as a conference. It says, the Big 12 is losing Texas and Oklahoma to the SEC as early as 2024, and it said a partnership between the Pac-12 and the Big 12 did not materialize, and the public tenor between the two conference commissioners grew sour in late July. That's what you need to know. Basically, the way that this went down is both of them started making some, eh, how about we just say less than professional comments in the public. Like, the things that they would say to the media were, eh, not great, right? Uh, Klyovkov uh, said at the Pac-12 media day, the Big 12 asked whether we would be interested in merging, and we explained to them the financial reasons and the contractual reasons related to existing media deals that would make it impossible for us to merge with them. However, he sent an email, or there was an email sent July 7th, where uh, this story says he seemed more open-minded. Now, this was, of course, a week after the USC-UCLA news broke, um, but Klyovkov sent an email to Anna Marie Kaus, who is the president of the University of Washington and the new chair of the Pac-12's executive committee, along with Stanford President. Mark Tessier Levy. Uh, he's another executive committee member. In that email, Klyovkov outlined his messaging strategy for a Zoom meeting scheduled for the following day with Big 12 Commissioner Brett Yormark, uh, the Texas Tech president, and the Big 12 Board of Directors Chair uh, Lawrence Chauvinek and Kevin Sweeney, the Big 12's longtime outside general counsel. He said, we are open to discussing a strategic relationship with the Big 12 that could help both conferences, and we have no preconceived notions about what would be possible or not. We think it would be worth exploring. Now, Klyovkov mentioned he had informed Yormark that he had also spoken with the ACC and that the ACC commissioner knows that we are talking to the Big 12. This is interesting, right? Because if I'm the Pac-12 leadership, if I am uh, the president of one of these Pac-12 schools, this is not great for for me if I'm a Pac-12 president. If I am looking at possibilities to move around, to maybe not get stuck in a long-term deal with the Pac-12, this could be a reason why I would want to leave. If you have George Klyovkov just coming out and telling blatant lies, now obviously some of these presidents already knew that he was lying, but why would you come out and tell the media all of these things that are just not true. I mean, it's it's quite incredible. Now, who knows what's going to happen with the media deal that the Pac-12 ends up getting? Are they going to be willing to give up exposure for more dollars for their member institutions? Do their member institutions care about exposure? Do they care about athletics at all? Obviously, they do at least a little bit, but I'm I'm very intrigued in this. Uh, you need to go read the article. I mean, there's there's a lot in here. Um, it's it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting. I will say that. So George Klyovkov. Mm -mm -mm. You know, there's always a paper uh, paper trail, buddy. Always a paper trail. Good gracious. Psst. Hey, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and of course, jump in the comments. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app, and make sure to leave a nice five star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter at GaryWCE, and the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.